So one of the new features of After Effects CC 2014 is the ability to reverse stabilize. And I'm just going to show you a quick example of how to achieve this. So I'm just going to load in some uh, video footage. And I've got this nice uh, scenery footage here and the camera's uh, kind of panning across the mountains and it's a bit kind of jerky. So I'm going to add a warp stabilizer VFX to this piece of footage. So I'm just going to go to my effects and presets panel and I'm going to type warp. And you should see the warp stabilizer VFX uh, After Effects plugin. So I'm just going to drag and drop that onto my video footage. And uh, by default, this uh, plugin basically just tries to kind of smooth the footage. And when I say plugin, it's not something you have to purchase separately. It's uh, native to After Effects. So it's analyzed the footage. And as you can see now, it's a lot smoother. So by default, it basically tries to smooth the camera footage, but we can do uh, other things with this uh, module as well. So for the result, I'm going to choose no motion. And we basically get this kind of cropped segment now. And this is great because the footage is stable and we can uh, work on it more easily because the camera seems fixed. So next I'm going to go to advanced and by default, the objective is stabilize. I'm going to choose reversible stabilization instead. And now we get this uh, effect here. It's basically uh, the video footage seems fixed and there's some cropping going on at the sides. That's because the camera's panning across and the module's basically attempting to kind of keep the footage fixed. So we can actually work with this. Um, I'm going to use the brush tool for starters and I'm going to double click to go into the brush mode. And I'm just going to paint something into the scene here. I'm going to paint high uh, exclamation mark. And I'm going to add some effects. I'm going to go to Effect, uh, Generate, Light Rays. So I'm going to add one of these lights in the background, make it look like a UFO or something. I'm going to duplicate that to make one more and move it over here. Put it down here maybe. And we can even add animation to these uh, lights. I'm just going to keyframe center. And if I just hit U, I'm going to bring up the keyframes and I'm just going to move this this way. And I'm going to add the keyframe for the first light ray. Over here. I'm going to move that first one over here a bit. So just add some animation like that. And this high seems to pop into the scene. So I'm just going to go to my paint layer and I'm just going to drag these brush strokes right back to the beginning like that. So it's always in the scene. So once you're content with uh, what you've added to the scene, the rest is very simple. You simply um, go back to this first warp stabilizer VFX, click on it and duplicate it and move this second copy all the way to the bottom after everything, all your uh, effects and paint layers. And I'm just going to open it up at the bottom here. I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to choose instead of reversible stabilization, I'm going to choose reverse stabilization. And if we watch the footage now, all these effects we've added are fixed to the scene. I'm just going to preview this. So you can imagine the power um, of this uh, stabilization module. And that's a very good uh, track. If you do 3D tracking and 2D tracking with Mocha, uh, you'll know how hard it is to kind of achieve a nice kind of solid, stable looking track. But uh, After Effects has done a very good job in this case, and it's fully automatic. We haven't had to uh, create any manual trackers or um, kind of solve the 3D camera. Uh, all of that's been done automatically. And as you can see, the animation is retained as well. The animation I created for the two lights. Uh, if you found this tutorial useful, please share it. And thanks for watching.